when it comes to dealing with a breakup, you have two options. You can either let go or get dragged. I think you know which one's the better option. There's no wrong or right option. Sometimes you have to get dragged a little bit before you eventually learn to let go. I just thought about that pain, that feeling like, you know, feeling like you aren't good enough. When somebody walks away from you, it's so easy to feel like you aren't good enough. But honestly, that's just your broken heart lying to you. But as the days move forward, it's gonna hurt just a little less. Believe me, you'll be okay. Be kind to yourself. <sighs> oh. You ever feel like you've completely lost your footing after a breakup? Like the ground beneath you has shifted and now you're trying to figure out how to stand tall again? Oh. I've been there and you're not alone. If anything I just said or I'm about to say resonates with you, hit that subscribe button, comment below your thoughts, let me know your favorite parts, talk about what you resonated with, share your story, I care. Even when you think no one else does, I care. And you're not alone. Don't you ever forget that. Today we're gonna to be talking about strength in and out of the gym. So today's video is not only about leg day, but it's also about setting the foundation to recovering from a breakup. The healing journey. Oh, I'm not a trainer, but I do know what I'm talking about. Both about breakups and fitness. So, if any of those grab your attention, then this is the right video for you. And let's get into it. So today's about finding your strength, not just in the gym, but in your heart and your mind as well. So this video isn't just about leg day. It's about creating that emotional foundation to recover after a breakup. Because when it's all said and done, through the, all the suffering and all the pain, you'll be okay. <clears throat> What's up, man? Are oh, you good? <laughs> you have a good one. All good, man. When it comes to dealing with a breakup, you have two options. You can either let go or get dragged. I think you know which one's the right option, though. I think you know which one's the better option. There's no wrong or right option. Sometimes you have to get dragged a little bit before you eventually learn to let go. And some people let go instantly and immediately. Other people hold on for a little bit, go through some pain and suffering, and then eventually they, they end up letting go. But just know, if you end up getting dragged, you're not going to get dragged in the direction that you want. So remember that. When you let go, you end up... When you let go, you grow. Oh. Leg day quad focused. I like doing this stretch. Oh. Stretch out the back and the hamstrings. Oh. 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 When I do this, when I do this, it gives me like an indicator as to how tight my back or hamstrings are. And I feel pretty loose, pretty hydrated today. So it should be a good workout. Oh, today is Labor Day to give you kind of like an idea what day I'm recording. It's a little bit more busy than I anticipated today. I didn't plan on it. I forgot what day it was, to be honest. Gym closed in an hour and a half. So we're going to get this workout and content and intense straight to the point. We're not going to beat around the bush. The goal is about fitness, both Emotionally and physically. Let's get into it. <clears throat> We're doing 15 minute warm up on the Stairmaster before we get going. I do 15 minutes on the Stairmaster before every, I do 15 minutes on the Stairmaster before every lift session. Just loosen up, get warmed up, steady cardio. At about eight speed, seven, eight speed. Right now I'm gonna do seven. Today, I tried to kind of overlap the topics, just like how the quads are like the foundation of your overall muscle group for stabilization. Today, he's talking about the foundation of covering from a breakup, from separation, divorce, things of that nature. Just like how quads set the foundation, when it comes to the healing journey, you need to focus on the same aspect, focusing on the foundation in terms of life and recovering from a breakup. It is a process of falling, right? You're gonna be falling from 
separation from the heartbreak from whatever it may be yeah, yeah, yeah. from whatever the circumstances whatever, are that you're experiencing some type of loss but realize that when you fall you, you have the option to either fall backwards or fall forwards to either fall down or fall up and after a traumatic incident whether it's heartbreak a loss something of that nature our brain creates three mental maps so essentially there are three outcomes three stories three circumstances that we can interpret whatever we went through but when we're suffering and dealing with those things we often are only able to identify two out of those three potential outcomes and they tend to be not so great stories first one is the most common one which is that incident happened that negative experience occurred and we feel as though we are left worse than where we were before the incident second option it's kind of a medium ground where the incident occurred and we are left in the same point where we started so no change not positive not negative but for most of us we tend to interpret that as a negative circumstance also the third option which is the most positive outcome but we often overlook it or don't even realize that it exists is realizing the fact that that circumstance that thing that we went through actually left us stronger and more capable of experiencing whatever life throws at us making us more resilient making us more understanding giving us some type of lesson to grow from Whew. for today's leg day i'm trying to map out what we're going to do today we're going to start off with squats if it's open if it's not open we're going to use smith machine superset with goblet squats then we're going to do bulgarian split squats because i hate those haven't done them in a while and then we're gonna do single leg extensions and to double leg extensions, superset with jumping lunges. And I think that'll be all she wrote. I've got enough to destroy the legs. Plain and simple, in and out. Focusing just on quad focus like day today. And then we're gonna go from there. If we end up going off script, so be it. At least we got a game plan. I guess I'll share a story. About two years ago, I went through one of my worst heartbreaks ever. Stumbled and struggled for months, like, oh, I'm lying, not months, for like a year and a half. Whether I was dabbling into alcohol, showing up to work late, it's just overworking myself, working out too much, running too much, just doing extreme hard stuff, trying to essentially run away from these negative emotions I was dealing with. Essentially, I was running away from these demons, but eventually those demons caught up to me. And I had one of two options, continue to fight to run, make my circumstances worse, or eventually stop and turn around. And what I realized was those demons I was running from weren't really demons. It was honestly just my inner child just screaming and yelling and begging for my attention. And when I decided to actually listen to hear him out, I realized what I needed. And I was able to reclaim my peace. And I share this with you to remind you that you're not alone. I don't know where you are, but if you made it this far into this video, I'm saying something that resonates with you. You see a little piece of myself in you. So with that being said, who are, I help ambitious men who are struggling to recover from a breakup, improve their emotional intelligence, to have that strong sense of self. Not only through fitness, but more so through mindset. So with that being said, if you feel as though this is something that you're looking for, something that you resonate with, that, will benefit you joining a program catered to individuals just like you being surrounded by like-minded individuals on that same journey then now is your time to sign right up the information and reference to it is in the description check it out and i'm looking forward to hearing you <laughs> and i'm looking forward to hearing from you and having you on board because your transformation is waiting for you so are you going to leave it there or are you going to claim it all right time to get activated Ooh. Ooh. So we were able to get a squat rack, which means we're warming up. We're going to superset it with goblet squats. So uh, let's get after it. And some more information on heartbreak and setting the foundation, not only in fitness, but with your heart and your mind. <clears throat> One. Uh, two. Uh, I'm two. Go up. Slightly. <clears throat> I put clips on everything, safety first. 
I look like clips like um putting on a condom, you know? Some of y'all are just nasty and never use them. <sighs> Setting the foundation for heartbreak is no different from leg day, honestly. Like the legs, the quads, the hamstring, the whole lower extremity is a foundation to your fitness. And you see countless guys skip leg day, right? It's like a like a stereotype of, of like meatheads. Same thing with your healing journey. Like the inner work, the harder stuff are the foundation of your healing journey, foundation of your growth. So don't ignore it. It may be your least favorite, but it's the most rewarding. Up close and personal. Uh, 12. You hear a lot of people that focus on um, the weight. Me, I don't really care about that. Yeah, obviously, like moderately heavy, things of that nature. But as long as it's breaking down the muscle, that's all I really care about. There was a study. They studied three different groups of individuals that, that lifted. People that do heavy weight, people that do moderate weight, people that do light weight. The different reps, right? Heavier weight, less reps, moderate, moderate, and then light weight. A ridiculous amount of reps across each group, same amount of muscle growth. So with that being said, honestly, it doesn't really matter what kind of workout you do as long as you're breaking down the muscle. Well, the difference among those groups was the groups that did the heavier weight with less reps, most amount of injuries, most amount of injuries to ligaments, to joints, the whole nine yards. So I'm trying to look smarter, not harder. <laughs> We are in a time crunch. We've got 30 minutes, so we are supersetting the squats. We're not gonna do Bulgarian split squats. We're actually gonna jump to single leg into double leg. Quads, extensions, and that should be enough. If you have extra time, we might do a little bit more, but we're breaking the sweat. We're getting the workout going. Let's get it. Wow, I didn't record this last set for squats, but I wanted to give up on the last three, but I didn't. And what kept me going was thinking about how she gave up on me. When a woman leaves you, they're placing the bet against your future. They're betting that they can find better elsewhere. And I kept telling myself, she may have placed a bet against my future, but wait till she find out how much she lost on that bet. Just because she didn't see the greatness in me, it doesn't mean I wasn't destined for it. So I, I just thought about that pain, that feeling like, you know, feeling like you aren't good enough. When somebody walks away from you, it's so easy to feel like you aren't good enough. But honestly, that's just your broken heart lying to you. Because you are enough. You're perfect the way that you are. There's nothing wrong with you, no matter what you've gone through. But the real question is, do you believe it? And that's what the healing journey is. It's believing your truth, which is, you're okay. You're perfect the way that you are. You will improve, you will bounce back from this because you didn't fall down, you fell up. You didn't fall back, you fell forward. And just like how you gotta show up for yourself every day in the gym, especially on days you don't like, like today, leg day, that's what the foundation of the healing journey is. Recovering from a breakup is showing up for yourself every single day, getting out of bed, brushing your teeth. And be kind to yourself if the only thing you did that day was survive because one day turns into two, two days turns into three, and before you know it, you're far removed from where you once were. I'm sure it's painful right now, but as the days move, but as the days move forward, it's gonna hurt just a little less. Believe me, you'll be okay. Be kind to yourself. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. 
If anything I just said or I'm about to say resonates with you, hit that subscribe button, comment below your thoughts. Let me know your favorite parts. Talk about what you resonated with, share your story. I care. Even when you think no one else does, I care. And you're not alone. Don't you ever forget that. Ooh. Whoa. Let's go, one more. One more workout, baby. Ooh. You are a lot stronger than you realize. Just like when you're lifting weights to get stronger or, or you're lifting yourself up out of bed, every single rep, every single workout, every single act of self-care is getting you one step closer to who you want to become. Every single positive act, as hard it is, as hard as that may be, is getting you closer to who you want to become. One. All right, final workout. Single leg. I do about 12 on each leg into double leg at a heavier weight, 12 on, on both legs. Five, eight, nine, 12. Damn. These absolutely suck. Whew. One, one, two, two, eight. Oh my gosh. We're just doing eight. I feel the burns. It's crazy. So we're super setting that with the single leg into double leg. So essentially we just do, we, we essentially just did two supersets, like workouts. Legs are shot. You don't need to do much to get much. <sighs> Breakups suck. I'm going through by myself this past week. And ironically, my life has been elevating in every single area, financially, physically, Social media wise, career wise, opportunities have been knocking on the door. And sometimes you have to realize maybe the things that you were holding on to were exactly what's holding you back. So don't be afraid to let go. Because if you, like I said before, you can either let go or get dragged. <sighs>